In this week's edition of Feel Good Friday, we spent some time at Sarasota Lanes. The downtown bowling alley has been entertaining families for nearly 60 years, and the spring and summer leagues are starting to fill up. It's Feel Good Friday. Right now we are here at Sarasota Lanes and this establishment is in downtown Sarasota and it's been here since the late 50s and people have been coming for generations really enjoying themselves and right now I want to bring in the owner Tom. Tom, uh, welcome to Feel Good Friday and this is really a place where people of all ages come and enjoy themselves, isn't it? That's correct. People have been bowling here for generations and from 8 to 80 you can come out and have a great time here uh, participating in the sport of bowling. And you're family uh, took this place over uh, several decades ago. Sure, we took it over in the late 70s and we've been operating it ever since. It's been, uh, it was built in 58 and it's uh, been owned and operated by two families. So. And you're coming off a professional event here, but you're going to be getting into the summer season. What does that mean for folks? Well, with our spring summer season, we have uh, uh, leagues and clubs that will be forming for people that want to bowl through the uh, summer months. It gives them a place to get out of the heat and come in and cool down and and uh, enjoy the sport of bowling. Absolutely, and of course, National Bowling Day coming up later in the summer. I know that you guys uh, participate in that as well. Yes, that'll take place in August. Usually it's in the first week of August. Um, generally, we run it on the first Saturday in August. Get to get away from the iPad, and, and it's all about uh, conversation and socializing here at the lanes. All right, Tom, the owner of Sarasota Lanes, thanks so much for joining us today. We really appreciate it, and that is going to do it from here. We're here at Sarasota Lanes, and you can come on in here and enjoy a round of bowling. Sarasota Lane is located at the intersection of Lime Avenue and Fruitville Road.